means one big thing for those living in Minnesota. That means it's time to go back to school. We join Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop live from Moorhead, where the kids will soon be waking up to get ready for their first day. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Christy. We're inside one of the new elementary school's cafeterias, and joining me right now is Brandon. Brandon, talk to me, for people that might not have been aware or, or don't have kids in school or just sending their kids to school, there's a few new, there's a new school and some new renovations that happen. Yep. Uh, because of the uh, successful passage of the bond in November of 2015, uh, this school year we have uh, the new elementary that we're standing in right now, Dorothy Dodds. Uh, we have the addition of um, the Horizon West School on the Horizon campus. That's for our five and fifth and sixth graders. Uh, our elementary schools went under a renovation that took about two years to do. The first phase was the new office reconfigurations for our safe and secure entrances. And then this past summer, uh, they underwent a reconfiguration to turn them into a six section elementary school across the district. So for people that might not have are sending their kids to Horizon Middle School yet or, or have already sent their kids and they're off in high school, Horizon Middle School is now a little bit different. There's two schools on one campus, is that right? That's correct. Uh, the five and six is the Horizon West and the seven, eight is Horizon East. Okay, so if you hear about those two different things, that's exactly what they are. It's the same middle school, correct. just kind of separating. And what is great about the new, new having new, um, facilities having a new you know a new elementary school and stuff like that how does that help the district with your enrollment I think the big thing that it does for us it eases the pressure that uh, that we've had uh, before you know previously uh, this past school year we had uh, our elementaries upwards of over uh, 880 kids in them uh, this brings uh, each elementary down to roughly uh, 700 per elementary so it just really eases the capacity and uh, eases the pressure of uh, growing enrollment so make sure if you're coming out to school today to drop your kids off, make sure you're not using the bus lanes and you're obeying the speed limits. Moorhead police will be out enforcing those things along with, remember, there is up to a $500 fine if you pass a school bus with its lights on. Important reminders this morning. Thank you, Ashley Bishop, joining us live from Moorhead.